All right, so you've probably seen influencers and celebrities using those red light therapy LED masks all over Instagram, right? Well, a while back, I was interested in one of those, so I clicked on one, and it was kind of expensive. I did not know those things cost so much money, and to be honest, I don't mind splurging every now and then, especially on skincare, you guys know that's my thing, but I just didn't see the need for that in this device. And I was like, you know what? I could probably make this at home. And that's exactly what I did. I made my very own DIY red light therapy device that I use every single day at my house. It's so good for your skin health. It really helps with hair growth. We're gonna get into all of that in today's video. The best part about it though, is that it cost me around $35. Yes, and I promise you it works just as good as those other masks that you see. All right, so I'm gonna hook you guys up and show you exactly how I put it together, how I use it. Let's get started. Okay, so for this DIY project, you're really gonna only need three things. Number one is gonna be some sort of a lighting device. I'm using this clamp light. Also, don't mind my clamp. It got a little dent in it because of course I dropped it right before filming this video, but it still works. It's very durable. You're also gonna need a red light bulb. This is the one I am using. I think it cost me around maybe 20 bucks on Amazon. Again, everything that I mentioned here is gonna be linked down in the bottom bar. And then the last thing is optional, but for me, it's necessary. I need some sort of eye protection, especially if you have sensitive eyes, I would definitely recommend using some sort of eye protection. That's pretty much the entire setup. I told you it was so easy to do. I'm gonna screw the bulb in, plug it into an outlet, So what I like about using a clamp is that you can attach it overhead. So if you're using this for hair growth, it's super easy to just clip it on to something over your head and do your light therapy like that. Red light therapy has been shown in studies to improve hair density and stimulate hair growth. There was actually this one study with participants who have alopecia, they did red light therapy. And if you don't know what alopecia is, it's pretty much an autoimmune disease where your immune system attacks your hair follicles. This then causes slow hair growth and hair loss. Anyway, in the study, the participants who use red light therapy saw a huge difference when red light was applied in wavelengths of at least 655 nanometers and this bulb that we're using is actually 660 nanometers which means that with consistent use it can be very effective it can be very promising so that you can be able to see a real difference in your hair growth studies have also shown that red light therapy has been very beneficial for skincare so whether you're dealing with acne which is something that we talk a lot about here on my channel with regular use it can help speed up the wound healing process it's also really great for anti-aging benefits. Studies have actually shown that red light therapy increases collagen production and helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It also really helps with scarring and hyperpigmentation because it's so anti-inflammatory. Personally, I like to include this practice in my morning routine. So pretty much I'll wake up in the morning and I'll meditate while I'm giving myself some red light therapy. This helps me just knock out two things at once. So I'll put on a 10 to 20 minute meditation, soak up all the light, and let me just tell you, it's so relaxing. And it just makes you feel all cozy from the red light. And I love that it's targeting my skin and my mind all at once. You know what I'm saying? Some other things that you should know is that experts say that to get benefits of red light therapy, it's really good to stand 6 to 12 inches away from your device. Also, make sure that you find a way to protect your eyes, like I said in the beginning, just because red light therapy can aggravate people that have sensitive eyes. One of the other things that's really good about red light therapy, especially in the winter time, is that you are exposing yourself to light. Light is very important for hormone health, especially during the winter time because we're getting so much less light. It's said that red light therapy can help people that really suffer from seasonal depression. Light is very important for our moods. It really makes you feel good. That's why I love doing it first thing in the morning. Red light therapy is generally a safe practice to do at home, but you always wanna consult with your esthetician, your doctor, 
anything that you do at home you just want to make sure that you double check and make sure that it's right for you also please remember that consistency is key when it comes to this practice okay so the studies i mentioned earlier about the hair growth and the skin benefits and all of that those were done over i think about 10 weeks or so consistently so when you're practicing red light therapy you want to make sure that you do it every single day and if you can't do it every single day try to do it at least every other day so you can really soak up all those benefits i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you try it out for yourself like i said you don't have to spend so much money on all these devices you can do it right at home thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in the next one